What is up guys, it's your boy Swell, I'm here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King Classic video. So the launch of Phase 1 of Wrath of the Lich King Classic has now gone by. We are over one month into Phase 1 of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and I think it's fair to say that Wrath so far has been very successful. A lot of people are enjoying the game, it's actually been proven to be the best expansion so far. A lot of people have been coming back, it's basically the most popular expansion in World of Warcraft's history. So this was a very highly anticipated launch for Classic WoW, and it has gone by super awesome. Yeah, the numbers have been insane, people have been raiding, logs, uh, everything has been absolutely insane, absolutely pumping, and I think people are genuinely having a very good time. I think personally, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is basically the best state World of Warcraft has ever been in. The classes are very balanced, you can do a lot of things in the game that makes sense, you can level alt, you can do raiding, you can do PvP, and everything you do, no matter what, it feels kind of fun. I guess it kind of depends on what kind of person you are because not everyone enjoys leveling. Personally, I really do enjoy leveling, and I do think that if you do enjoy leveling as well in general in World of Warcraft, then you will enjoy leveling in Wrath as well. It is a very alt friendly expansion. You can buy heirlooms to increase the leveling speed, you can level through PvP, and you can level through doing dungeons or open world farming. There's a lot of different ways you can level up, but let's go circle back into main type of content here. So, a lot of people are leveling to level 80, doing heroic dungeons and doing raids as well. So this video right here we will be talking about the general population of Wrath and the actual success of Wrath so far. And I do want to say at this point in the video, this video is highly highly inspired by Stay Safe's current video, where he talked about the population of Wrath of the Lich King Classic and the actual raid logs and everything. So this video will be based on that one and building on it a little bit further, giving my perspective on this topic. So let's get into it. So first off, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is actually breaking records. It is breaking world records for Classic WoW when it comes to raiding and raiding parses or raiding logs. If I pull up this log right here, we can see all of the logs that have been recorded since Classic WoW actually came out and all the way until now. So previous to Wrath of the Lich King Classic, you can see the actual spike was on the week from the 20, from the 30th of March until the 5th of April back in 2020. This was about when Blackwing Lair came out or around Blackwing Lair era in Classic WoW, so Classic WoW's Phase 2, Phase 3, around that time when people were raiding Blackwing Lair, and at that time we had 489,752 people that were actually logging their raids. Now, in the second or third week of Wrath of Lich King Classic, we actually have 540,000 people, which is an increase of... Uh, 50,000 people, so it's a 10% increase, and the next week we actually have even more as well, so 570 people, giving us 100,000 more people who are actually raiding now than at the peak of Vanilla WoW or Classic WoW, which is absolutely huge, because Classic WoW came at the perfect time, it was the perfect storm for Classic WoW in general, and it was absolutely mainstream. I could go to the gym and people would ask me at the gym if I played World of Warcraft, which is something that never happened before, nobody ever talked about that game at the gym or around my area, and now, at the time when Blackwing Lair came out, everyone suddenly knew what Vanilla WoW was and what Classic WoW was, and people that I did not expect would be playing WoW was actually playing WoW, so it was a good time for WoW in general, and now we have more people raiding than we did back then, which is absolutely massive if you ask me. Now, that being said though, does this mean that there's more individual people actually raiding now than back then? Personally, I want to put this into perspective, I don't have the answers here, but I want to, uh, let's just talk about this. So when Blackwing Lair came out for Vanilla WoW, or Classic Vanilla, Leveling to level 60 was a huge time investment. Not everyone would be leveling, uh, I don't think, uh, Almost nobody would be raiding on two characters back then. Even raiding on one character was a huge time sink, because not only were you doing Blackwing Lair, you were still doing Molten Core as well to get legendaries, you were still doing old raids to get the legendaries from those, and even Blackwing Lair took some time. It's not like Naxxramas where you just blasted through the raid in two hours, it actually took some time to clear out the raid. So, in terms of leveling up, leveling from level 1 to level 60 was a huge time investment 
investment took you probably about two to three weeks of slash played for a regular person. So let's just say two weeks of slash played. Now, if you buy a level 70 boost into the Classic WoW or the Wrath Classic, you can level up to level 80 in literally one day. So the time investment to get to level 80 right now is much smaller than the time investment to level up a second character was back then. Which means that back then, almost nobody was raiding on a second character. But let me ask you this, right now in Wrath of Lich King Classic, how many of you guys are raiding on more than one character? Let me know in the comment section down below. Actually, let me know how many you're raiding with. Are you, ra 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 are you raiding with just your main, or how many alts do you have? Personally, I am raiding actively on two characters. I have both a Boomkin and a Warlock that I'm raiding actively with. So, for example, on the on the logs here, I count as two people because I have those two on different servers too. So yeah, I'm playing two characters, raiding actively every single week, and I don't think I'm the only person here that is raiding on more than just one character. First of all, Noxramus is a very very easy raid that almost everyone can do. It's not like you have to bring your best character for every single raid setup. You can, for example if you are in a raiding guild, I know my guild for example, are doing split runs. So on the run we have on Wednesday, half of the main raid group is on their main and half is on their alt. And the same goes for Thursday as well, where the other half of the mains are on their mains and the other half are on their alts. And then they just bring in casuals as well, every now and then to fill the last spots. So raiding on an alt is very more, it's much more accessible to raid on alts right now in Wrath Classic than it was back in Classic WoW and that's basically my point right here. Now there are some other metrics we can use to actually find the population of Classic WoW or World of Wrath of the Lich King Classic and what stays safe used in his video was the World of Warcraft Classic video game and I want to build upon this further by using the Wrath of the Lich King Classic search term as well because the Wrath of the Lich King Classic video game in itself does not give you all of the data that you want to have for Wattle K so by searching up for Wattle K as well as a search term I think you get more of an actual outlook on how many people are searching up the game in in total, because not everyone that makes a video on the game will actually title it World of Warcraft Classic as in the video game, but there's also a lot of Google articles about Wattle K as well, so by searching up Wattle K as a search term, you will get more of the actual relevant searches to Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So for, for example here, some people said that, um, well there was a huge uh, thing going on before Wrath came out, where some people even said that Wrath of the Lich King Classic could be even bigger than Classic WoW's lore and just to debunk that theory right away, the launch of Wrath of the Lich King Classic had about, let's see, uh, it had 40%. So the search term for Wattle K had 40% as much as World of Warcraft Classic had back at the launch of Vanilla. So based on those two terms, you can say that Wrath of the Lich King Classic in, in terms of Google Trends searches is 40% as popular as um, Classic WoW actually was back in the day. That being said though, if we take a look at, for example, um, Black Moon Lair, when that came out until now, we can see that Wattle K is actually more popular right now than Classic WoW was back when Blackwing Lair came out. So even though let's just say there's more, there were more people actually raiding back then than there are right now, because even though the logs say otherwise, I do think quite a few people are raiding on their alts. That being said, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is more popular right now than Classic WoW was back when Blackwing Lair came out, based on these simple Google Trend search metrics by using the Wattle K. If we just take away the Wattle K, we can see that the Classic WoW or World of Warcraft Classic is not as popular as it was back in the day, because not everyone tags their content as World of Warcraft Classic, some people just tag it as Wattle K Classic instead, and that is why I think using the Wattle K Classic search term is more relevant here, just to actually give us the real information on how many people are actually playing the game. You can also use a website like for example wowclassicpop.com which uses census scans to tell you the actual popularity of the game, but it's a little bit more difficult to go back in time here and check it out on how it was back in the day, because this is a recent add-on that came about in TBC Classic, I want to say. So yeah. Wrath of the Lich King Classic is breaking massive records, a lot of people are raiding, and I just want to say that for the future of Classic WoW, or the, for the future of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, I think a lot of people are taking breaks right now, including content creators are dropping, people are posting less videos about the game, because Phase 1 is arguably the most sleeper phase in Wrath Classic so far. Not just so far, but in total as well. Like in Phase 2, 
things start ramping up massively. Ulduar is a huge raid compared to Noxramus, which is the easiest raid of all time. Ulduar and things start getting a lot more interesting right away, so phase 2 will be a massive and a lot of people will come back. And I even think that in terms of raid logs, we could see more logs in phase 2 than in phase 1. Naxxramas is such a boring raid that some people don't, uh, they opt to not raid Naxxramas or just raid for one or two weeks and then quit until uh, Ulduar comes out. So some people even just skip phase one as well and come into phase two because what happens now with classic or wrath classic is that you can run heroic dungeons and get raid, raid gear from previous raid tiers when the next raid comes out. That is one of the changes coming in wrath classic so some people are opting to skip phase one to join in phase 2 when the raids get more interesting. And Ulduar is not the only interesting raid coming up, we also have Ice Crown Citadel coming up in phase 4, so there's a lot of things to look forward to, so even though people are taking breaks right now, Wrath of Lich King Classic is only going to go up from here. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, Wrath of Lich King Classic, the launch was absolutely successful, I am really enjoying the game so far, I've been playing the game a little bit more than I should, but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it as well and subscribe to the to the channel for more World of Warcraft content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.